This is a CBS 4 News update. Hi, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. Here are some of the stories making headlines today. Miami-Dade police arrested 11 men in connection to a massive ring to steal credit cards to buy gasoline. The men were taken in as part of Operation Filler Up in conjunction with the Medley Police Department and the Secret Service. Police say they stole credit card numbers to purchase massive quantities of gas. Then they sold the gas at a yard in Hialeah at a discounted price. Police say not only does the scheme affect the people whose credit card numbers were stolen, but it's dangerous for people on the road. These vehicles have blown up in the past. Um, if they're involved in a traffic accident, it could cause a humongous fire. It, it's every, very, very dangerous to anybody uh, that's around these vehicles while they're in the streets um, transporting this illegal gas to the destination. Miami-Dade police say they confiscated nearly 70 stolen credit cards as a part of the investigation and expect to conduct more investigations like this in the future. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue responded to a house fire in West Kendall this morning. Chopper 4 was over the scene where you can see firefighters coming in and out of the home near 85th Street and Southwest 156th Court. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue says everyone got out of the home and they were able to get the fire under control. Two dogs were also rescued. Miami's Major League Soccer team now has a new sporting director. Atlanta United Vice President Paul McDonough has expected, accepted the role with the Miami franchise today. He'll report to managing owner Jorge Mas and David Beckham, who is the owner and president of football operations. McDonough will be responsible for building the club's player roster and leading its sporting operations, including player acquisitions and talent development. Well, Siesta Key is known for its blue water and lively marine life, but if you look at it now, thousands of dead fish are washing up along the shore, and the red tide is being blamed. Wildlife experts report high levels of algae in the water causing the red tide. Workers are cleaning up the dead fish today. Now, CBS4 weather. Meteorologist Dave Warren here at uh, CBS4 Weather Control. Tropics pretty quiet to here. No development expected. The water is still cool. There's a lot of dust in the atmosphere, and there's a, quite a bit of wind shear. So uh, we will be a breezy night tonight. Uh, mainly dry, though. Maybe just a few passing showers. Warm, though, with that temperature of 80 degrees. Cannot rule out a spotty shower tomorrow. Much of the area, again, staying dry. It's breezy again. Gusts near 20, especially at the beaches. That wind is southeast, 10 to 15 miles an hour. Two to three foot seas if you're on the water. They seeing just a moderate chop. We have an ocean breeze uh, pretty much through Saturday and Sunday. A few more storms in the forecast Monday and Tuesday. That'll let that temperature climb with a lighter breeze into the lower 90s Wednesday and Thursday with highs both days near 92 degrees. And that's our news for now. You can always find us at CBSMiami.com and tune in to CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7 and 11 for all the day's important headlines.